Hi buddies, how are you all of you? I hope you all are fine. In last two part, we studied the condition of Indian economy before the Britishers come in India and after the Britishers. Okay. And uh, now we are just uh, trying to justify that what progress we achieved in last 75 years. पिछले पिछहत्तर सालों में क्या खोया क्या पाया ओके जस्ट टॉक अबाउट इट उसके बारे में बात करते हैं एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज इंडिया इज डेवलप्ड कंट्री और डेवलपिंग कंट्री एक विकसित देश है या फिर विकासशील देश है क्या है एग्जैक्टली इंडिया उसके बारे में हम लोग जो है थोड़ा डिस्कशन करेंगे ओके एंड दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट एंड ईयर दिस चैप्टर विल बी ओवर सो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंडिया एज अ डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमी थ्रू सम एरिया ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी मैंशन अबाउ इंडिकेट लोअर इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इंडिया कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड एज अ लेस डेवलप्ड नेशन वी आर नॉट कंप्लीटली डेवलप्ड ओके वी कैन से नाइदर कंप्लीटली डेवलप्ड नॉर complete uh, uh, total lesser developing we are in somewhere in middle path okay not too much higher developed and not under developing okay so india cannot be called a less developed nation indian economy shows characteristics of progressing economy some of which are now we are trying to understand that all factors first is the growth rate the growth rate of economy which is measured by the growth in national output means the per capita income and national income by year has increased for indian economy especially the lpg during the period between the 1950 51 90 1991 the average annual income growth rate was 3.5% however after the period of economic reform 1991 the average annual growth rate has remained above 6.8 which is an important achievement after 2012 13 the growth rate shows the 2014 15 the average annual growth rate less than 5% so it is fluctuate children and it has changed as per the economic condition and the world situation the net national income of factor cost that is called the nnp at constant price level in the year 1950 51 it was 2 lakh 69724 crore which is increased now it is 7 lakh 51000 834 crore in the year 2013 14 thus in the period of 63 years nnp has growth by 18 times next changing share of the various sector in national income in employment okay means what is the situation of primary sector what is the secondary sector and what is the service sector to uske bare mein bhi yahan pe dekhte hain uh, as a nation starts developing the contribution of its industrial and service sector in national income and employment increase it means that now people have to depend less on their traditional sector means people are not only depend on agriculture but with agriculture they are doing other activities for their livelihood okay to get income to earn something extra in with improvement in technology and capital formation they get employment in the relatively more productive sector industrial sector and service sector india's service sector has started growing significantly after the reform of 1991 which we will go to understand in next chapter the following table shows the increasing share of industrial and service sector national income and employment you can see if you will see this then you will get the idea agriculture activities 1950 51 53.1% were was there and it has reduced means 
and against of that if you will see the industry industry's contribution was only 16.6% in 1991 which is increased by 29.7% similarly if you see the service sector in 5051 it was 30.3% which is increased by 52.7% which shows that our economy is a growing economy is it clear now let's talk about the per capita income the per capita income of the country is constant price in 1950-51 was 7114 which increased to 39904 in 2013-14 thus in a period of 63 years PCI increased by PCI means per capita income approximately by 5.6 times between the period of 1950-51 and 1990-91 it increased about 1.6% while after 1991 it increased by 5.5% due to the economic reform. We observe that the share of agriculture of the employment has declined but the share of industries and services is increasing over a year and that of the industrial and service sector has increased level of employment. In India, employment is reviewed in three sectors, primary sector. Uh, this sector include the agriculture and allied activities. Allied means associate with it like dairy, farming, animal husbandry, PC culture, sari culture, etc. Industrial sector. This include the manufacturing, construction, mining, quarry work and other word it include the production all activities next is your service sector all in, uh, included all service pertaining to trade banking transport communication information broadcasting health education all are include in this okay if you see the scenario then also you will get the idea you can see here okay in primary sector 72.1 percent contribution was there in 1950-51 which has increased by 48.9 in 2011-12 similarly secondary sector you can see 10 it has increased by 24 and in territory sector it has increased from 70.3 to 26.9 okay so by this you can say that we have continuously we are growing in each and every field in India year 1951 the contribution of primary sector employment was 72.1 industrial 10.6 and service 17.3 in 1991 which has increased okay 66.9 12.7 and 20.4 respectively while in the year 2001 the share of the primary sector of employment was 56.7 percent Okay, in industrial 18.2% and in service sector 25.2%. In 2011 and 12, okay, the share of the primary sector of the employment was 48.9% of the and that of the secondary sector 40, 24.3% and service sector it is 26.9% respectively. Thus, it is seen that from 1951 to 2011-12, the employment has shifted from primary sector to industries and service sector, okay, which, which shows the change, the pattern of Indian economy. Improvement on the basic primary utility. Similarly, uh, uh, we improved our infrastructure, means road, transport, communication, literacy, okay, all these are included in infrastructure, okay, which I have mentioned here lastly, you can see in your screen it is mentioned there okay so let's talk about first of first uh, irrigation okay improvement in the basic um, uh, utility that is called the infrastructure India has shown the significant improvement in the uh, provision of the various utilities in the urban as well as the rural area like electricity water supply road irrigation transport communication health education and such etc irrigation in 1950-51, only 22.6 meter per hectare of land across the country was irrigated, which increased 0.63 meter uh, hectare in 2012-13. About 45% of the total agriculture land has irrigated facility as present time. What is the literacy rate? Let, let's talk about it. The literacy rate, which was 18.33 in 1950-51, it has increased 2011-73%. Okay, 
uh, as per the economic survey 2013 14 uh, in 1950 there was 20 universities and 50, 500 colleges now which uh, it has increased from 719 and 35000 respectively which indicate that the level of education is going high in our country uh, compared than our previous years let's talk about electricity the electricity generation which was around 20 uh, uh, 2300 megawatt in 1950-51 it has now increased from 243000 megawatt in 11, 2011 and 12 road network in present time india belong to the list of the countries with longest road network approximately 48.6 lakh kilometer of concrete road today and continuously we are doing a lot of progress okay in this field next is the railway india railway network is fourth largest today in the world with 65000 kilometer Thus, India is progressing fast and now prestigious emerging economy. The, pa the per capita income consumption of essential commodities has increased. Progress is made in area of science, research and technology. Development average life expectancy has increased and so on. In the international uh, comparison program that is the ICP initiated by the World Bank in 2011, India was identified as the third largest country after US and China while in 2005 India was the 10th in position. So by that you can understood how fastly our economy is growing on and what was the what was the cause and what is the reason. Kya karan hai aur kya parinam hai? That we will try to understand in next chapter kya humare economy ko itna jabar just boost up mila kaise. What was the reason? Kya karan thai uske? उसके ऊपर एक डीप और डिटेल आप लोगों के साथ में एक डिस्कशन मैं यहां पे आप लोगों के साथ करूंगा नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में एंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ओके एंड दैट चैप्टर इज योर इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म हमने इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म कर कर किस तरह से हमारी इकोनॉमी को स्टेबल बनाया दैट इज योर नेक्स्ट पार्ट ओके सो एट चैप्टर इज योर इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म एंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड there that how our country has progressed okay how we uh, shows the courage to change our economy and what consequence were there behind it that all things we will discuss in next chapter so here it is enough so bye all of you see you take care bye